How's it going everyone? What an insane start to 2023. This has been a huge week trading inside Team Bull. We've had some beautiful trades all week. I've had one small losing trade this week, which I'll cover in this video, but overall perfect start to the year. But as always, before we get started with this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button, and click that bell icon so you don't miss on any of my upcoming videos. Now let's take a look at SPY here. This trade was on SPY. I took two trades today. One was a small loss and one was a big win. Risk management is key to trading. You have to be able to limit your losses and maximize your winners. Now first off, let's talk about what I saw pre-market. Now, we came up with this game plan on Instagram Live, which I do every single morning. Be sure to come join us. Positive motivation only allowed. I think everyone will love it, especially if you have the same mindset as we all do. So as you can see, we had a huge move up off data, and we held it good pre-market. As you can see here, we, we was holding that. So I told everyone in the Instagram Live, I said, okay, one thing I've documented, a strategy I like to use when we have these big push-ups off data pre-market is I like to look for entry and play it back down to prior day close. That's just something I've kept note of in my trading logs. It just works. And if it doesn't work, you'll notice right away that you'll you know break out and you'll trend up. If that's the case, I'll, I'll switch it up and I'll trade that trend up. Now, let's talk about the losing trade I had today. So, technically, well, ideally I was looking for was, you know, us to start moving back down. So, I want to see something like this. And I was wanting to enter off a lower high coming down to catch, you know, buy put options to play the move back down to prior day close. So, we got in here. And also, we pushed down the BWAP. I was in the green. I could have took profits. But, I, you know, I wanted to follow through with my plan. And it happened to push back up. We stopped out at 383.2. Small loss. I said, okay. I told everyone pre-market inside team boss said, if we don't trend... We're going to push back up to 384, and that's going to be where I enter puts. And that's what happened. I got in right here, took this beautiful move down. My last sale was at this 380 area here. Worked out perfectly nearly. Yeah, ideally, it should have worked out from here for us, but, you know, we, we managed a risk, and we caught the second entry that we, you know, the possible second entry we was talking about. What I see when I see a move like this, I feel like we push up, hit this level, and then we sell back off. There's orders left on field up there. The market tends to want to push back up there, get them sell orders, then continue on down. Then hits prior day close and goes back up. That's just something I've noticed during these big data mornings. If you have any questions about this, always feel free to reach out to me. For those that are watching this that are new to my channel, I do trade futures live. And people, have, you know, they ask me, what platform am I using when I trade futures pre-market on my Instagram live? I use Apex funded accounts and they use Ninja Trader. You can check out Apex. I'll leave a link in the description. Use my code for get the discount on them. Pretty cool. Check it out. But that's all I have for this video. Appreciate you all for watching and I will see you next time.